For the success of a good dinner meal is to have all your mise en place ready. And mise en place, I mean everything from the chicken breasts ready to go. Basically set out like I am. This is one part of the dish and then for the lentils, you have everything ready on the side to do it. Okay, first thing to cook the chicken breast, get your pan on the stove, nice and hot. Salt, pepper on the chicken breast, both sides. Nice amount of seasoning. Flip them over. Touch canola oil into the pan. Get that nice and hot. And you want to sear the chicken breast skin side down first and get a nice crisp on the chicken breast. Okay, for the next part of this recipe, we have a nice little lentil dish to go with it. And it has like nice little lentils with some herbs and mustard. And it really cuts through the richness of the chicken and, uh, and the sauce. And it's really a nice accompaniment to, uh, to a chicken dish. So we have our pre-cooked lentils here that's be cooked. So it's three parts water and one part lentils. And then you cook them until they're just al dente. So then we're going to take a little bit of butter and add it to our pan and let it get get uh, foaming here. You know your butter is nice and hot and cooked when it starts to foam like that. Then you know the liquid is coming out and it's hot. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of shallots. You wanna sweat that out just for a few minutes just to let all the flavors release. Now we wanna make sure that we don't cook it too fast or on too high of a heat to make our butter go brown. We want it to be nice and light and mellow so you can turn down the heat a bit. Just let the flavors come out. Don't rush that part, it's really important. So then we're just gonna add a little bit of grainy mustard about this much for one portion, so it's about a teaspoon and a half. Okay, and we just add that. We're gonna add just a little chicken stock to stop the cooking process of the shallots and the garlic so they don't go brown on us. We're gonna add in our lentils, enough for a portion. With a quick stir here, just a little bit more stock. We wanna get a nice little glaze, so the chicken stock and the butter, once it reduces down, it's gonna create a nice little glaze on your lentils. Almost like a little saucy component around the outside, holding in all that nice flavor. So then a pinch of tarragon, not too much because it will overpower. A good portion of parsley, we want lots of herbs in here. And a nice pinch of chives. Some salt, a little bit of pepper. Finish it off with just a little butter because everything tastes better with just a little butter. Mm, you can really smell the mustard, the lentils, <coughs> and the nice fresh herbs. And then just one last taste. Make sure your seasoning's right, and you got a perfect little accompaniment to your chicken dish. Okay, so now we're finishing off the chicken. You want to make sure it's at 165 Fahrenheit inside temperature, then you just let it rest for a little bit. Then I'm taking, as I mentioned before, the mustard with our JPL honey. So what you want to do is a nice, lovely brush that'll give the sweetness and the mustard flavors onto the chicken. So a nice brush with the mustard and honey, and then a lovely mix of all our lovely, beautiful local herbs on top. Now Paul's just finishing off the lentils, and then we'll start to dress the dish. Thank you, Paul. And while I'm doing that, Paul's gonna start cooking off the carrots. Now we blanched the carrots before, and then what we do is we sodi them in a bit more butter, because obviously everybody loves butter in their vegetables. Thank you. So you take the lentils, and you're gonna place them into the center of the plate. Like so. So one of the biggest things when you're dressing the plate, think of the presentation. We as chefs will also think of the presentation, but we'll also think of the colors. So that, hence why we've added these beautiful, lovely Twin Meadows carrots. You've got the oranges, the, yell uh, the yellows, and the purples into it. So place them on the plate. Uh, we can put a touch more of the butter on top to finish it. Then I take the chicken, like so. so. You just pass it on the top. And then the final will be sage infused jus. I just add a little bit more jus for color. and a lovely drizzle just around the plate like so. And there you have the chicken.